Hello, my name is Ray Salazar, and this is Morning Real, a three or four hundred minute or so podcast of films that I review, whether they suck, whether they're films about films, whether they're a figment out of our imagination. Today, I am reviewing Irma Vep, which is, you know, if you flip those letters around, it's literally called Vampire, but this film is called Irma Vep. It's a 96, it's a 96 French film directed by and written by Oliver Asayas, produced by Georgie Benyon Benayoun, starring Maggie Chung, who is like a goddess in Asian cinema. We have Jean-Pierre Laoud, who is famous in French for playing Antoine Dionnel in the famous François Truffaut, Antoine Dionnel series. Natalie Richard, Bourguier, Lou Castel, Arsene Kajian, Antoine Bassler, Nathalie Botifu, and Alex Descats. This film's a big cast. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen films that are about making films or being in the front line of how films are made. This film is, 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 exa- is exactly like that. And um, it's not a documentary. It's a film. It's fictionalized. It's basically Maggie Chung playing herself. She got called in to play a role of Irma Vep you know, which is a silent vampire film that the French created many, many decades ago. So this French director, played by Jean-Pierre Laud, is the director wanting to make the film, who wants to basically, you know, recreate it as a tribute to the original film. And you have a cast of characters which are the film crew, which have, you know, all kinds of different personalities and behaviors. And I think the position that these characters are in speaks their behavior in some ways. I can't really explain it because I would spoil it. But basically, Maggie Chung playing herself, um, she gets really close with... um, Let's just say she gets close to the director, but she also gets close to the, I guess, the head costume designer. And um, they strike up a a friendship. They get along, you know, opposites. Got a French woman. You have a woman from Hong Kong, but they happen to speak English, which is where we get information. And I like their exchange of dialogue that they have. A little personalized and it's it looks natural it feels natural i mean this is the type of film that recalls the style quote-unquote cinema verite where the camera is like a it's so invasive it's not even a fly on the wall anymore it it's invasive it it pans it tracks it does those things at the same time we get certain angles that we wouldn't get in the traditional film the camera's everywhere. It's a little dirty. It's risque. And it it perfectly paints the, the portrait of how going through all kinds of pressure, financially, morale, to make this film. And you can tell that people are, are sort of at the edge and in, in their own ways. Some don't really give a fuck. And you see it with the camera, right? You know, the camera is invasive. And not much of these characters have dialogue, only like a couple of key characters. And, you know, they give a good representation as well as to how um how hard it is to make a film. Whether you're trying to remake it or not, it is tough. It's financially speaking, it is tough. This film does a great job representing how movies are made, how characters go through situations that go along with that the thing that i liked a lot is um when you look at it you're you are learning about how 
about acting, really. You, you learn how actors get in touch with their roles as to how they communicate with the director or other um, heads in the production crew. You know, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a, a personal opinion at that. So my personal opinion, this movie gets three out of four. It's not the best movie about movies making movies, but I love French cinema. And I like that this film showed a portrait of of the craziness of French cinema, you know, as to whether they make movies or not, or the ideas behind it. You know, the French have a different way of life, right? They also have a different view of cinema as to how movies are made, what's a good movie, what's a bad movie. I like it so f- I like that it's so frank. Follow me at Morning Shot Films, IG, YouTube, read and review this episode, this podcast called Morning Real. You get them at your typical podcast streams like Google Play, iHeart, Spreaker, YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. You could find me also on Apple Podcasts. Check me out. Next week, I am thinking of putting out the Days of Being Wild, directed by Wong Kar Wai. I saw it recently, and it is a great film. Much like this film, Irma Vep, I recommend anybody who loves cinema, anybody who likes comedy, anybody who likes how people, how people self-destruct in normal situations, much like making a movie, please watch this film. And that's it.